is the beginning of the hurricane season. Now, what we realized is that about maybe four weeks ago, um, we had a blackout down in St. Elizabeth. I think the whole island experienced some light power failure. And we had spoken to our farmers and told them that we would like for them to have um, a way to shed light on agriculture. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this here now today um, for all my people that are what we call first responders and as it relates to, again, hurricanes, the diaspora um, task force and farm of Jamaica would like to introduce this light. So this is a light what we call, it's a, it's a campaign that we call Shed Some Light on Agriculture. And it's a solar powered light that we're going to use to sell within our Jamaican island to help farmers plant more food to reduce the importation of foreign food into the country and increase the export of good organic food to our niche market. So it's a light that charges on solar power for seven hours and gives you 30 hours of light. And we recommend that you go to your local stores as they are should be in your Ace Hardware soon and your Mega Mart soon. And I'm sure the first hands and whoever else would jump on board to help agriculture to, again, reclaim some ground. Huh? And then, okay, it says, how does the light work? <laughs> so you, it's one button, you put it in the sun, it charges for seven hours, gives you a green light, and then it gives you 30 hours of light and it's 100% waterproof. So in the hurricane, the fishermen, whoever need this light, whoever need this particular light, will be able to help not only protect themselves in a, in a situation, but will also be able to help farmers to plant more food, because 100% of the proceeds of this particular item will go back to agriculture and helping farmers. You bring it to me? You bring it? Yes. No, that's yours. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's Senator's. He has just given me this one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's inflatable. When it's not inflated, it is only the size of a normal cell phone. Falls down, you can have it in your pocketbook, your pocket, what have you. But with no further ado, I am here to talk about Denby. Um, so my name is Neil Curtis, and I represent um, Farm Up Jamaica, which is a non-profit diaspora formed organization formed to help reduce the importation of foreign food into Jamaica and increase our exports through organic food production. Now I know organic food production is not that popular here in Jamaica, but in America, the busiest supermarket is a place called Whole Foods. It is double the price of regular food, and the last I was there, which is about a month ago, I had to wait online for about an hour just to get to the front. Um, so we realized that Jamaican food, when grown organically, has better flavor, has a better appearance, and does very well in, in, the, in the climatic conditions that we have here in Jamaica. As we move into things called climate change, we realize that it is going to be important for us to do climate smart agriculture. Now, organic agriculture, without saying anything, is climate smart agriculture. So we automatic, oh, I would like to welcome to the stage right now <laughs> the Minister of Agriculture and Commerce, our Como said Commerce and Agriculture, Mr. Carl Mr. Carl Somuda.
So, the Diaspora Agriculture Task Force. By the way, we call ourselves foreign farmers. <laughs> um, is excited to join with the Jamaica Agriculture Society and host the Denby Symposium, some sympo symposium this year. To give you a bit of background, the diaspora movement was started out of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to engage with Jamaicans overseas to participate in nation building. Jamaica's diaspora is estimated in excess of 3 million people. 1.8 million in the United States, 300,000 in Canada, and in the UK, 600,000. And spread out throughout the world, an additional 200,000. That's a lot of people, considering that Jamaica has about 2.7 million on the ground here. Hundreds of diaspora organizations make significant contributions to Jamaica in healthcare, education, etc. The, um, the, the Agriculture Task Force was started last year with similar ambitions for individuals and organizations in the diaspora to join forces and make an impact on Jamaica's agriculture sector, which we see is quite not in its best position, but can, can be improved. And things like organic agriculture can be that niche market that Jamaicans can look forward to for a couple extra dollars. The task force has three key priorities. First and foremost, food security. Secondly, sustainable farming practices and best practices. And of course, a new market for Jamaican farmers. With these priorities in mind, we are proud to have recently signed a three-year MOU with JAS. As part of the MOU, we are sponsoring the first ever organic farmers competition. We are hosting a study abroad program for the National Farm Queen. We have co-sponsored the JAS Climate Smart Summit back in April, and we are hosting the Denby Symposium. Our goal for the symposium is to deliver a series of workshops on tips and tools and information on sustainable and organic farming practices, as well as programs and resources for farmers, including availability to a market that represents 40 billion US dollars and is only being filled by the United States at only 9%. That means that there is 91% of food being imported into America that is organic, that's not coming from America, but Jamaica is not participating in that yet. But we will. Um, our goal for the symposium is to deliver a series of workshops, of course. And the theme for the symposium over the three-day weekend is day one, grow more food. What are some of the techniques farmers can use today to get more out of land and resources that they already have? Day two, make more money, which all of the farmers are interested in, and teaching them new farming and techniques to increase farm profits. And day three, get help. What are the resources and programs available that farmers can leverage? There are many programs that are worldwide, not only relying on Jamaica. So us as diaspora, we must bring something to the table, bring some of the resources, bring some of the other things so we're not leaning so much on local resources that are probably exhausted. We will also have refreshments throughout the day, giveaways for 50 farmers who attend the workshop. And all workshop attendees will be in entered into a raffle for, far for a farm tool kit, which will also include one of these. Um, we'll have a raffle, and that will be also something that 
will be um, raffled off, a bigger, a larger toolkit will be raffled off, which will be worth some 60,000 Jamaican dollars. We are happy to be here in partnership with JAS, and we look forward to a successful Denby 2016. Thank you so much. My name is Neil Curtis, Farm of Jamaica. Thank you, well done. Well done.